So this tutorial covers making holes in uh, objects. Similar technique to how we make extrusions from objects. It's very, very similar, so um, using the same technique. So first things first, there is a option under create called hole. Now I found this to be a little bit temperamental and this other technique I'm going to show you now I found to be f uh, a lot better. So first thing I'm going to do is say for example I want a hole on this surface pushing all the way through the design. I'm going to click on this surface and then I'm going to press create sketch. So I'm going to create a sketch on here. Now the beauty of doing it this way is your hole does not necessarily have to be a circle. It can be anything. It could be a rectangle, it could be whatever you want it to be. So for this purpose I'm going to show you it as a circle. So let's say I wanted a circle, circular hole there, 30 millimeters across. Uh, drawn that in there. And press stop sketch. So you can see it's drawn a circle on that face. Click and click on there now and I'm going to extrude it. This time I'm going to push it all the way through. So if we look around you can see I've pushed it a bit further than it needs to be but that's absolutely fine. Press OK. And See when I look through it, there we go, I've got a hole when I look through the design. I'm going to do is on the back here, I'm going to click on the back, I'll show you that again, but this time I'll show you the beauty of doing it this way. So maybe do a polygonal hole. Let's do a triangle hole, shall we? So 20 millimeters on three sides. Push it all the way through, press OK. Now put that hole. You'll see because I had that hole there and that hole. I've got that passing through like that. Now, if I wanted to put a hole on into a curve, slightly different. Before I do that, I'm just going to show you how to do a hole using an offset plane. So if I click on this top plate face here, I'm going to go to construct and make an offset plane. So like with these planes that we used to start our sketches when we first start, it's going to make a brand new one of those. And I'm going to I just see that that's going to be drawn at 20 millimeters above there. Sometimes it's it could be more beneficial to draw what you want your hole to be off the design and then push it all the way through. So I'm going to do that, click on that plane and press create sketch. So it's come down and looked at it this way. So if you to do it this way is, so for example, I could do a bit of a sketch like that. So it's kind of floating just above the design. So, I've got this random shape that I've drawn above. So now, if I go to extrude and push it down, when you push something into an object, it always defaults to cut. So you can see what it's going to do from that shape. You can see how it's going to affect the back of that design. Like that. Let's just have a play around with this operation so you can get an idea. So if I go to join, you can see what it's going to do. It's going to join that to the back as you, exactly as you can see it. If I go to intersect, it keeps only the bit where it overlaps. So it intersects, so it only keeps that bit. The rest of it gets deleted. So what I want to do is to put it on that cut option like that. Press OK. And you can see how it has created that effect on the back. Now, if I want to do that to a curved surface, again, what I've got to do is go to construct. This time, I'm going to click in the drop down list and go to tangent plane. Click on the curve. Just look at it this way. You can see the angle at which I want to draw my hole going through. So, it all depends on where you want the hole to be. So if I go to 10 degrees, it's going to put the hole through the design that way. Just going to press OK. Like 
right there. And I can click on that new offset plane that's been created. Create my sketch. And again, let's do a polygon. So that's the, the most effective way to put holes into your designs that I've found is to, to basically just draw sketches onto the surfaces or floating just above the surfaces using the offset plane tool and then pushing it through making sure that cut option is selected. Once you've got your holes, you can put a fillet on. The edge is how so you'd find it on commercial products as well. There's just a five millimeter fillet around that as it goes into the design. And that looked really quite cool when it's been printed.